Hey friends, welcome back and hello to you new people too. I'm Courtney. This is Nyx and this is Phaedra right behind me. She's napping. Today I wanted to share a cruelty free Target haul with you. I don't typically do haul videos but I thought this would be fun because I went to Target today to pick up just one thing and I wanted to show you everything else I ended up buying in the process. So the first thing I bought was the Pixie Glow Tonic. So the first thing I bought was the Pixie Glow O2 Oxygen Mask. I love this mask and I've just about finished my first, started, I just about finished a bottle of it so I'm ready for another bottle. And um, it's basically something I do every morning. I use it every morning in the shower and then I often use it right before I do make, when I do makeup just so that my makeup will look good. But it, I don't know, it makes my face look so good. So I love this stuff. I noticed that Pixie has a 24K eye elixir on the shelf, so I went ahead and grabbed a bottle of that too. It's an eye serum, you're supposed to use it at a.m. and p.m. And it says that it has gold to stimulate circulation, collagen to strengthen skin, and peptides to plump fine lines. My eyes need all the help they can get, so here's hoping it doesn't suck. I bought the Pixie Lower Lash Mascara in black. I don't remember if I've ever tried this before, but I figured I will give it a try again just to see you know, how I feel about putting mascara on my lower lashes with it. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe it'll make it easier. I also picked up the Pixie H2O Skin Drink, which is a pure hydration gel. It's supposed to be an intense moisture gel to instantly rehydrate your dry skin. So I actually used this today before I put on makeup. And I do like the texture. It's very interesting. The last Pixie product I picked up was their Pixies Natural Brow Duo 2-in-1 in Soft Black. I want to see if I can use this black. Um, I'm really, really disappointed in ColourPop for getting rid of Jet Set Black because that was my perfect brow, black brow pencil. Yes, there are Kat Von D brow products in black that are work just fine for me, but since I'm kind of trying to avoid Kat Von D, I've been looking for other alternatives. And so ColourPop was a great alternative because it was my favorite brow product and it was only six bucks. So I'm really pissed that they got rid of my color. Okay, so the rest of the products that I'm, I'm gonna show you, I think are all from CoverGirl. And in case you don't know, CoverGirl recently went cruelty-free, and that's a big deal because they're a very big drugstore brand. They might be the biggest brand that Leaping Bunny has ever certified. I will insert a link up here to go watch my video about that. But um, the TLDR is cruelty-free international certified cover girl with weeping bunny so they are cruelty free that means that they're not testing any animals anywhere in the world and they're not selling anywhere where animal testing isn't mandatory so yay that is awesome as such i bought a couple of their products to try out so the first product i'm going to show you is the cover girl true blend matte made foundation in the shade l10 it's this one right here and l10 is fair porcelain it's a pretty yellow toned product I'm wearing it today. I mixed it with my Danessa Myrick's uh, Prism FX, and I think that it looks pretty good. I'll have to check pictures and everything because I haven't checked any pictures yet. But it's definitely on me a very yellow tone foundation, which works really well since my skin seems to be yellow, yellow olive. Um, like neutrals and yellow tones work really well for me. So there's that. I also picked up two of the CoverGirl Melting Pout lip, lip products in the colors Raspberry Jelly and Gel Mate. I'm actually wearing both of these on my lips right now because I put this one on first. I really like the color and decided that I wanted to put this one on top and really liked how they looked combined. So I'm like, I'm just gonna wear this. I don't know anything about the longevity of these or anything like that, but I really, really do like these colors. They're pretty. I also bought the CoverGirl Melting Pout Glitz, which seems to be a liquid glitter top coat that goes with these guys. Haven't tried that one yet, but I will. And then I bought two of the CoverGirl Demi Matte Lipsticks. One shade is called Bestie Boo, and the other one is called Peacock. I wanted Bestie Boo because it's one of those kind of like lavender, gray lavender shades. I like those colors on me. And then Peacock looked like a really nice deep blue. Um, let's see, what else did I buy? I bought Duo Lash Glue because I was about out of mine. And then I bought some Pacifica Cactus Water Makeup Removing Wipes because I use these whenever I swatch, or I will use stuff like this whenever I swatch. That's everything that I hauled from Target. I did want to mention that Target does have a lot of cruelty-free brands. So if you're curious, at least the one by my house does. So the one by my house, they have CoverGirl, they have Pacifica, they have Pixie, they have Wet n Wild. Oh, and there was other one, one other product I brought. It was a new 
Wet n Wild blush called Purple Haze. It's like one of their ombre blushes. I really love their ombre, ombre blushes. That was the thing I bought. And I'm trying to think. Let's see. So what other cruelty-free brands are at Target? There's NYX. There's Sleek. Um, there's Profusion. I believe Profusion is cruelty free. I'll have to double check that one, but I think they are. I'm sure there are brands like Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture is at my Target. I'm trying to think of who else. Like Elf. Like they have so many different cruelty free cruelty. They have so many different cruelty free brands there. It's really nice. It's very easy to shop cruelty free, at least at my Target. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing my cruelty free Target haul and learning about some cruelty free brands you can find at Target. Please be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You good, baby. Yes, you are.